now two Detroit police officers are waking up in the hospital after being shot last night. Yeah, and the suspected gunman is also in the hospital. Local force Nick Monticelli is joining us live now this morning. Uh, Nick, what were these officers doing at the time and how are they doing right now? Those officers are doing okay. The chief is being cautiously optimistic, saying he thinks they'll both survive, but one of them has a gunshot wound through his neck. It's a very serious gunshot wound. As for what they were doing, they were in the area, the west side of Detroit, in the area actually where Wayne State Sergeant Colin Rose was murdered, shot and killed there. They were working on that investigation and also working on some complaints about drugs. Until you're walking out of here, that's when I'm more optimistic, I can say. But we just ask we keep both officers in our prayers. Detroit Police Chief James Craig is cautiously optimistic after two officers were critically shot in the line of duty. The men, members of the 3rd Precinct Special Ops Team, are a 20-year veteran and a 4-year veteran. They were working in the area that Wayne State Sergeant Colin Rose was shot and killed. But also dealing with the other issues. Uh, the complaints that they've had in that, in that area. Those complaints brought them to the area and to Raymond Durham, who police say was acting fidgety. He gave them his ID, but then pulled a gun and started shooting. One officer was shot in the ankle and the upper torso. They believe his protective gear saved his life. The other was shot in the neck. The officer shot back and hit Durham in the leg. Durham's knee says he is schizophrenic and homeless. His reaction and for him to do that to the officers, so that's why I'm like, I don't know where he, I don't know what the hell is going on. After a two and a half hour manhunt on the west side, Durham was found hiding in some weeds in a field a few blocks away from the shooting with a gun in his waistband. Now the question is, since this was in the same area, could any of this be related to Sergeant Colin Rose's murder? I'm not prepared to say that yet, but we are processing evidence. We, we do have evidence that we will be processing. And you can bet some of that evidence that will be processed is the gun they found on Durham. They can run tests to see if that could be the gun used in the murder of Sergeant Colin Rose. Again, the two officers are here at Detroit Receiving Hospital. The chief was cautiously optimistic. We're sending our thoughts and prayers to them and their families. The suspect shot in the leg. He is at a different hospital in Detroit. He also will survive. We are live this morning. Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News today. Well, we are looking forward to a, a quick recovery from those officers. Uh, Nick, we did hear from his niece in your story. Did she say anything else that might have explained what could have led up to this man's actions? You don't know. She said that they were very surprised that he had a gun on him. Uh, obviously, you heard about the mental illness of schizophrenia. Um, she said that he was actually kind of a gentle guy when he was around them with children. He was a pretty good guy, was someone who would do anything for anybody, according to her. But uh, she said that he could be sometimes because of the schizophrenia, a little uh, not necessarily wild, but just wasn't able to really know what was going on. And mm. that is the part that they're all really struggling with this morning. Mm. Okay. Nick, thank you.